If you live in the UK and you're thinking about going on a cruise, this could be a great idea for you to test the waters without even leaving dry land. Hey everyone, I'm Sunny and I make videos about London's food, life, events, culture, and things to do from an American's point of view. It's probably obvious that I'm not in London right now. I'm in the Cotswolds. And if you're English, I really don't have to explain to you how beautiful and peaceful it is here. Mr. Sunny, my London-born husband, and I have spent the past three days at Heathrop Park on a press trip. It's part of Warner Hotels. And if you just look at their social media, you will see they have a very loyal and engaged following. The videos I watched before coming here all compared the experience to like being on a cruise. So I've been on quite a few. I've been through the Caribbean and the Panama Canal. So for me, I think it's very fair for me to make comparisons between what I experienced here and what I've experienced on cruise ships. I moved here 10 years ago from America, and one of the things I learned quickly is the perception of who goes on cruises is very different between America and here. And that was the first thing that we noticed when we arrived at the hotel, is that it does fulfill the stereotypes you have of a more mature clientele going on a cruise. Next, an outstanding feature is the ginormous size. I believe the property is on over 420 acres, and the hotel itself is ginormous. A lot of times you feel like you're just going through a maze when you're leaving your room to maybe go to breakfast. But that's the same on a cruise ship. It's just vertical because you're moving from deck to deck, from front to back. And I know those aren't nautical terms, but it is the same concept. While you are moving from one place to another, it is still very beautiful because all of the interior is decorated very historically. When you're comparing rooms, you'll find the rooms here much more spacious than your average cabin on a cruise ship. Now, I used to stay in cabins towards the the back of the ship that had very big balconies so maybe it's not an accurate comparison but the rooms here are very spacious and they do have rooms that are categorized as mansion rooms we didn't stay in one but they are substantially bigger i found the food at this hotel comparable to what you would find on a cruise that means there's a range of things to eat such as buffet to what they would categorize as fine dining breakfast and dinner is included on the rate that you get and just like a cruise ship you're going to want to book your times in advance. The same with cruises, drinks are not included, but you will find plenty of them. I guess the only difference is on a cruise ship, your drinks are probably gonna have umbrellas in them. We did several master classes focused on the theme of drinking, and here they were one on a tea tasting experience, and the other one was a gin tasting. I'm guessing they ha probably have those on cruise ships, but they were a lot of fun. You do have to pay extra for them. In terms of pools, they have a pool here, so you can compare the two. Ironically, Mr. Sunny is the aquatics expert on Sunny in London, and he was a little disappointed with how shallow the pool was here, because he really likes to do laps. Now on a cruise ship, that wouldn't be possible anyways. On cruise ships, you will find the pools to be really noisy, especially the days you're at sea and crowded. We didn't find that here. For entertainment, I can't really do a fair comparison because as many cruise ships as I have been on, I never went to any of the shows. I was blown away by the shows that we have seen here. The first show that we went to, the singer had mentioned that she had been on several different reality shows. She should have won one of them. She was amazing. We also went to the Ibiza Symphony, which was phenomenal. I can show you clips, but I can't play any of the music due to copyright, but it was a phenomenal experience where they played like, you know, old school rave music in a completely different way. I've been to gyms on cruise ships and they're pretty comparable here. We were invited to take a Pilates class in their wellness center, but with all the things we had going on, we just couldn't fit it into our schedule. You will find that there are plenty of outdoor activities and wellness activities in the gym. Like a cruise ship, which has an activities director that plans tons of things for you to do on board, it's the same here at Heathrop Park. Some of the things you could do are, there's an 18 hole golf course, which I believe is par four, archery, clay pigeon shooting, rifle shooting, 
snooker, and I know you say snooker here, croquet, even electric or regular, I guess, bike riding. And if that's not enough to keep you busy, they do have organized day trips that you can take. We had a couple hours to spare yesterday, so we drove ourselves out to Stratford-upon-Avon. It was a beautiful experience. I'm not gonna list all the things that you can do from here, but if you go on my website, sunnyinlondon.com, and read my full review, you'll find the information there. So if you live in the UK and you are not interested in flying to go somewhere on holiday, or maybe you can't fly, this could be a really great experience for you if you wanna do something that literally has everything and offers the option of adults only. If not this property, you might wanna look into the other Warner Hotel locations. For more things to do in London and the rest of the UK, subscribe to The Sunny News. I also put daily doses of things on my social media. I will see you in the next video.